So what brings you two together is the two of wands and the obstacles that you face has to do with the queen of pentacles. Independent individuals working together. See, I think you guys work really good together, but have a hard time working. Uh, well, no, you guys do really good working together, but have a hard time. Oh, no, you guys do really good working separately, but have a hard time working together. And I think that's a little bit of the issue. Only because you guys are both coming from very independent backgrounds. Now, the relationship for this individual, this typically, this would be you, Scorpio. This is the side that I would read um, for my clients. But you feel free to go ahead and pick the side here if that resonates with you the most. But this person here, or you know, Scorpio, this so the attitude in which the person is going into it is like focused, driven, so looking at ways to grow the relationship. You know, they're really putting in the effort, right? They're putting in elga grease, really working hard to really make the relationship work. They're dedicated. That's dedication I see right here. Person is focused. Now, the other person definitely sees this opportunity as a second chance. Perhaps with the other person, like I was saying before, like I said, this doesn't have to be a new person that comes in this relationship. This could be a pre-existing relationship, and I think that's the situation right now. Somebody is rekindling an old flame with their partner, or they're, they're starting over, starting fresh with their partnerships. And I kind of get that sense, right? Somebody may be feeling that way. And I like, you know, that'd be cool. Or maybe somebody is, right? But this is also another opportunity, right? In which maybe they feel like falling in love or being in a relationship was no, done and done. Uh, gone and done. Not happening. And I think that this is the situation that they're coming to realize is that that's not the case. Um, love is definitely underway. And I think they're realizing that, this, uh, you know, despite all their, you know, the, the other situations that may have come through, they have grown an exponential bit. They have new experiences. They have different techniques and styles in which they can take with the take from last old relationships and their new, you know, and as well as their boundaries, their perspectives of their own self. They're taking that into this new relationship. And I feel like they see this judgment energy. Yeah, it can be used to be very difficult because I think this is also recognizing that this is a new opportunity at something and they have to approach it in a different way so scorpio this could be your side too to be honest with you because we're starting out with pluto energy as this person's headspace but this person's dedicated focused you know they're trying to envisioning this relationship like in, in the sense of like they're working on it they're just working on building it and putting time in and putting on all the effort now how this other per since this other person's come from a place of you know regeneration in the sense of like you know phoenix rise for the ashes and new opportunities come underway you know this person is coming off and they're showing that loving energy they can sense that relationship is strong and that's what they're kind of wearing on their shoulders this is like they feel like this person is a really you know a really um what am i trying to say like this relationship that they have this connection that they have is profound more so than anything i think this other person is very much showing that this relationship is is one hell of a relationship it's very very powerful it's very potent very strong and i think that this person um yeah this feels like a life-changing experience for them because this is a very strong connection that they feel for the other person and this other person sees this as a new opportunity to start something and legitimately start something like towards growth in in the best way possible financial you know committal all that the ace of pentacles talks about this this will this 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 offer or or this potential of you know of a settling down situation like really working to settle down to make something long term happen and i feel like this is a pretty doggone amazing com um, combination here the lovers and the ace of pentacles because this person is looking to really cement the relationship you know they really they want to take steps towards cementing the relationship not starting out saying let's get married but they're really wanting to make the steps towards seeing you know to making a foundation strong enough that it can support a marriage it can support kids later on and that's being said, the reason why they see this is because they have ultimate control of themselves. They have gotten balance in their self in their in their situation, um, and I feel like they see this situation as a victory, like a victory as from how they feel, right? What they feel and what they know, what they can achieve. That's all. All of these things all of a sudden seem possible because that balance of what they want and what they believe is balanced together. Like it's it's so it's it's excellent. So I think the chariot here could indicate that this person's this cancer could you know 
could be just just Gemini. Like I said, this could this is Plutonian energy, so it could be a Scorpio. But I feel like you know, despite the whole sign stuff, right? This person's really strong. Like feeling feels really strong, feels really empowered, and they know their strengths, they know their weaknesses, and they're using those to their advantage here. And I feel like because they feel like they're in control of themselves, they are feeling like with their willpower pushing forward, they have excellent willpower, by the way, that force is going to carry the relationship on their end, their 50, that's going to hold their 50% of the relationship, the integrity. Now, what's interesting about this is the person's foundation, though, um, where, they, where they're coming from, why do they have the lovers in the judgment card coming up um, as their cards for the placements that they have is because of the three of wands. And I feel like it's because they have manifested this individual. They manifested this situation. Like I said, manifesting a person is not manifestation. It's conjuring. And conjuring, that's a magic that I don't dabble in and I don't agree with at all. But I do feel like this person was coming from a place of desire and wants in regards to what they wanted to feel in regards to a relationship in general. What they would feel like and, and, and love. And I feel like this person may have manifested this. The reason why this person is, you know, it's definitely a big change in their life. It's a new opportunity and they feel a profound connection here. They feel like great, a great deal of love. Um, it's because this is something that they've been manifesting, they've been working towards, they've been doing a lot of work towards, and they finally got that back, or they're finally seeing the results of their labor come into fruition. But what's brought these two together, what's brought you two together is the Two of Wands, and the Two of Wands talks about making, taking a path, sorry, choosing a path or a certain direction, and taking action on that path. But the challenge that you guys face is the page is the Queen of Pentacles, which doesn't really necessarily look like a challenge to me. It kind of actually looks like more of um. It doesn't look like this part, like both parties are having a hard time with committing to something because I think this is this person doesn't seem like they have a problem with commitment at all. They see this as a new beginning. They're showing this as a new beginning. They're taking their time. They're they're doing the hard work, but they're really putting in the effort and the time to it. They're not rushing anything. The chariot they they come from a time where they have been rushed. Perhaps things were moving really too fast, and they really want to make this work. They really want to make it right, and I feel like they want to take their time with it. And they really want this to grow, and they really want to really put real morals and everything into this and i feel like the other person on the other hand i don't think this person is necessarily speeding this thing up or trying to but i think they're trying to just kind of absorb the information that they got um considering that they have two major arcanas here they're really trying to you know balance their head and their heart in, in the sense too they're trying to i feel like if anything they're learning to accept this feeling of love to accept this uh, this um, you know this connection more so than anything because this is something that they've been wanting for some time i think i feel now what's interesting is your underlying energy is the five of wands why because of the five of swords and that's interesting right there because it talks about conflict and confrontation um and it's because of selfishness or perhaps this is some sort of sacrifice or figuring out whether or not this is something that they want. This person here is dedicated and ready to go and committed. This person, I would say, probably not very much committed. They get, they feel the profound connection, but they also remember every time where things may not have worked out. This is a really big decision this person has to make, which is why the conflict is coming up. And I feel like even though this person is working very hard and showing their worth and they're really making it happen, they're spending the time in, they're doing the best that they can on their 50, this person is not putting in the whole 50 yet because they have, still have to figure out if they're going to accept the feelings that they feel and go with the connection or if they're going to listen to their mind, which is the fears and perhaps the other stuff, the other perspectives that they've gotten from last last relationships and perhaps push this opportunity away that's up to them that we won't necessarily know but the thing is is that they have a decision to make and i think that it's not waiting for things to come in i think they're trying it's about making the decision to go for it to fully commit to it i think they have already discovered the feelings that they have for you or they you know you have discovered the feelings that you have for them but now it's about the committing aspect putting in the work really you know dedicating that you're you know the self to this relationship either yourself or their selves and that's the conflict that's the five of swords that's the five of wands five of swords dynamics like what you know finding their true selves in the situation right trying to figure out their own individuality their their own authenticity their true um personality right it's kind of getting to understand themselves at the same time really trying to figure out if this sacrifice of uh, the sacrifice of you know 
going along with this relationship, right? Because they, they believe it's a sacrifice. Um, and to them it is. They're sacrificing something, something, you know, if it's worth this, you know, the work, if it's worth the effort, all the effort that will come with this. Wow. Very interesting. Very interesting reading this time around. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, the thinker, C4. I knew this was the thinking card. I knew the thinking card was going to come up. Something. Something in regards to wait and see. And it's like, be careful not to overthink the thing. That's the th real message I'm getting from that. Because usually it talks about take your time. Think things through. Don't rush to make the decision. It's like, you know, sometimes you just got to take your time with it. Mm. Actuality is be very careful. Because judgment is the tux is very similar to the two of wands. It's immediate action. Right, you are very close to immediate action, or acting on, uh, acting according to faith, your new self, your new truth, right? And the thing, the more time you spend on it, the you know, the more and more, the you know, you're just letting the opportunity slip away. And it's, it, of course, it says, to, of course, to make the right decision for you, take your time as well. But there's also to be to monitor your thinking, making sure that that thinking isn't you procrastinating and conjuring up reasons to 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 fail or to not to succeed succeed in a situation instead of kind of coming up with real reasons to consider the relationship right and most importantly thinking and making sure that that's real thinking and not you know procrastinating and you know procrastinating not in the sense of like you just don't want to make a decision right now yada yada but more of like you know you're just too afraid to make it so you're just kind of just sitting on it you know what i mean you know don't let time don't let time to dictate whether or not you do something or not okay you want to be that person that's in control to make that decision and in order for that to happen you have to take control this person here you know what i mean and if this is you scorpio then you know the best thing you can do is to handle your business to just do you right you know i don't know if you see this relationship as work i think you see this as a new beginning and it's in, in, as a new partnership and really wanting to put some work into it i feel like this other person though may be taking their time the last thing that the, anybody wants to do is sit too long on a situation you know just you know there's not much more to, to think about it right don't let the other stuff kind of cloud your judgment and i feel like that moving forward that will encourage you know that will help and grow and you know create beautiful things but it's not the independence i think that's really what's causing the person to kind of think about things but it's like it's the dedication it's the the comfort that they will feel being in a relationship i think that's the biggest thing and committing to it again trying the again all over traveling all over again with a relationship seeing if if it's worth it but be careful not to think too long, guys. 